statue. Loved it. Yeah. Loved it. You know what's so crazy? Like, um, leading up to it, you just nervous because you hoping that, you know, it looked like you. And, um, man, I, I was just telling him, like, you did a great job, man. I mean, I don't know, this is a moment that I'll never forget. I'll cherish this moment for the rest of my life. Did you like the final design? Were you hoping it was going to be the ear or the crossover? Or... I, yeah, I, I, I like that picture. Um, I, don't, I don't think you can do it any other way. That's, that's, that's God putting his hand on it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when you think of me, you think of crossover. And then for me to be doing it, it was just spectacular for me. It's crazy. There were, there were people trying to sneak in here early, right, to, to see you mm -hmm. um, yesterday, too. When you think back to all the love that you got, I mean, I understand you're from Virginia, you know, you went to Georgetown, and you came here, and all the love you continue to get. Man, the only, only, only word I can use is, is blessing. It's just a blessing. You know what I mean? Like, I say it all the time, like, you got relationships with players all over the world and their fans. And I don't even play no more. And mine is, to me, is number one. You know what I mean? It's, and it's been like that for a long time. So, um, man, I just love them people and they, they love me back. I think they just, um, they honor the fact that I gave everything I had night in and night out. And, um, and I love the fact that they supported me through all these years, through my ups, my downs, my trials, my tribulations. They always was there with me and supported me. And they let me um, mature. Um, they let me, you know, because when I got here, I was 21 years old. You know what I mean? I didn't know if I was coming or going. And then, I, you know, as I got older, um, I think they started embracing me more because, you know, they they and they, they able me to, to learn, you know what I mean, and get better as a man and as a player. What, what do you think of the, the game has changed a lot since you played, mm -hmm. and you were go to the hole a lot of mid-range. How would you? How do you think you would fare today? Where there's such an accent on the point shot, the corner three, all that kind of stuff. The game has changed so much. I, I just look at it like, um, honestly, um, I look at it as the court being so wide open. You know what I mean? Like, even when I beat my man. A lot of times you got centers outside the three-point line, so they're way out there on the peri perimeter. And all I have to do is beat the first guy, then I'm, I'm laying the ball up. I mean, I just, that's the way I look at it. You know, in, in our um, era, you know, you beat the first man, then you got the big man sitting in there waiting on you. You got Shaquille O'Neal standing right there waiting on you. So, you know, I think it just changed dramatically. I love the direction that the game is going. Um, I think we're only going to evolve. The players going to get better and better. You know what I mean? Just when you think you've seen it all, you're going to see something else. You know what I mean? Like, when you look at players like um, Joel, a big man that can do what he can do, um, you get Joker, and, you know, I love Luca, you know, for what he does out there on the basketball court. I mean, guys scoring 70 points, man. <laughs> this game is wide open. Alec, would you have been a load management person? Yeah, right. You know me. <laughs> Do you know me? You know me. I, I was, I'd have still been pouting every time I came out of the game. You know what I mean? And I, and I, you know, I think coach tell me all the time that, you know, I had to put the ball in the air, um, you know, a lot for us to win. And it wouldn't have been no different. You know what I mean? Because if you're saying I would have been playing with the same teammates, then why would my, my game change? You know what I mean? But um, as far as low, low management, just sitting out of a game, I can sit out of practice. <laughs> Play me in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, and that's, that's crazy. Like, what, you know, they talking about, you know, guys, you know, not, um, not playing in games and sitting out of games, but they were getting on me for not practicing. But they know I'm playing in every game, hurt, sick, whatever. You know what I mean? So that, that was just, I just thought I was just getting picked on back then. <laughs> It'd be great for you today. You wouldn't have to practice if the guys don't. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But I mean, and 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 I wish I wish I had the opportunity. I mean, I don't regret too many things in my life, but I wish I had the opportunity instead of reacting in a, you know, in a negative way or or just getting frustrated. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I wish I could explain like how can you become 
an MVP? How can you become an all-star? How can you become an Hall of Famer and do all of these great things that I accomplished if I didn't practice? How do you think I got that good? I had to practice. So, like I said, I just thought it was a bad rap on me. One interview just turned into something legendary. <laughs> it's funny, I'm walking in the streets and people coming to me and say, practice, we talking about practice. And I'd be like, man, out of all the things I accomplished in my career, <laughs> that's the only thing you can come up with? <laughs> like, crazy. Uh, when you that you didn't have uh, team more to give? Remember your last night? When did you realize that you were, you were done? Um, I think when I, I, I remember I remember it was a time um, my daughter was suffering from Kawasaki disease. This was my second stint in, um, here. And I was in the, on the court. Um, and somebody was shooting a free throw, and I was sitting there thinking about my daughter, and I knew it was over there. Because through my whole career, my whole life playing basketball, that was my safe haven. That was the time where whatever was going on in my life, I could get out there for those two hours and wouldn't think about nothing but my teammates, fans, my coaches, basketball. You know what I mean? And once I started thinking about other things, my focus wasn't there. I just felt like it's not fair to myself, it's not fair to my teammates, it's not fair to my coaches, my fans, you know what I mean? So, you know, I talked to the organization and they were great. They, you know, let me go. When current players or people in the organization now walk by that statue, what do you hope that it inspires? Just, um, just playing every game like it's your last. Like that was my, always my motto. You know, I, I felt like I was going, regardless of the circumstances, if I'm hurt or whatever, if I'm on the court, there was no reason for me not to play that game like it's my last. It's not fair to to myself. It's not fair to God for giving me the talent. You know what I mean? And I always felt like I'm going to play harder than anybody out here. Now, if I have a bad game and I shoot 0 for Winfrey or something like that, <laughs> then so be it. I could look in the mirror and feel good about myself because I know I played as hard as I could. I was going to play harder than anybody night in and night out. That's why I love the way uh, Russell Westbrook play. He remind me of myself, you know what I mean? Because he's going to give everything he got every single night, regardless of any circumstance. Uh, you had great teammates, but when you look at Maxi and Joel, do you ever say, I wonder what it would have been like if I had running mate like whichever the other one you want to say see i i, I get i get baiting it you just know basketball and you and you know what i went through in my career I do. all right so i'm not trying to be i know no I, i'm saying i get baited into that all the time because you know i i had so much admiration and respect for the guys that i played with i love being in the foxhole with them night in and night out because i knew they were going to play hard and i'm i'm talking about that that finals team, like yeah, I was, absolutely. I loved that team. But throughout my career, now, what I would have been happy to play with somebody like Joel, or, you know, anybody that was, that could dominate, you know what I mean, the same way I could. Well, even a fellow All-Star. Even, even, a, even an All-Star, yeah. You know what I mean, I always, I don't, I don't try to think about it as much, cause it, I try to, I try to look at my career and say, I mean, look, I got a statue outside. Like I look at all of the things that I did accomplish and I and, and I, I don't have no regrets because I look at it like coming from where I come from and the circumstances that, that went along with where I'm from, people like that don't make it this far. You know what I mean? So I, don't, I really don't look at it like that. And the only, you know, I wanted the championship for myself, but I wanted the, just the look in those guys' eyes and just see the look and the expression on their face after winning the championship. And that's the only thing that, when I think about it, that hurt, you know Al, what I mean? Alan, how, how, are you, how are you doing now with your life and everything? I mean, not just this, just in general. Um, my, my, um, my, my time is, um, is where I wanted to be, um, family-oriented wise. I never had, the, like my two older kids, they never really had, you know, a father that was there. I was always ripping and running, you know, through that younger, you know, childhood. And um, now my my other three kids, I'm there. I'm there. I'm, I'm in their life. I'm, I'm talking to them when they don't understand things, when they don't, 
you know, when they don't feel good about things and when things are hard for them, like I'm there, I'm that voice that's there all the time. Like I'm taking them to school, I'm picking them up. You know what I mean? And other than that, my life is what it is. You know what I mean? The same old, same old. I'm, I'm trying to survive in life like everybody else is in the world. You know what I mean? Um, trying to take advantage of all the opportunities that come to me for being me and the things that I accomplished in my life. And, um, you know, trying to put that energy into those things that I do like I did out there on the dance floor. Alan, you should look at it. Oh, go ahead. I would say, but when you look at Tyrus Maxey and, and the way he's been able to score like that, I mean, do you see any of his, any of yourself in, in him out on the floor? Um, what I see in him, because obviously he's bigger, he's stronger, um, and obviously I see the confident level, the confidence in, in himself and knowing he can, he can do it. And then he, he, put in, he put in the work to become, you know, the Tyrese Maxey that he is now. And I just, I love watching him play. I, I cheer for him. I mean, I'm, I'm a sixer until I'm, well, I ain't, on, I ain't talking about that, but I'm, a, I'm always going to be a sixer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's who I am. I, 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 like, I live this. Like, I, I can't miss games. You know what I mean? I, I have people still talk trash to me. You know what I mean? When we don't make it and we get put out the playoffs and all that. So, you know, when I'm when I'm when I'm rooting for them, like it's a feeling as if I was still playing for you said, us. You said at the end of last, you said sometime last year that you wished you were more involved with the organization. Right. Um, has anything? I I have there? been. I'm. Um, I mean, that coach has left that door wide open for me. Anytime I want to be. Um, for them to be available for me. They have come up, came up to me and said, you know, um, that, that they would love to talk to me about different things on the basketball court. And I, I just, I love and respect that, that they respect me because they know I've been through what they're going through. You know what I mean? At a high level. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be, um, trying to have my voice be heard as much as possible. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing a lot of things with the organization. Um, and I just I just think that I'm blessed, you know, to have the opportunity to have a relationship with the organization after I'm retired. Is there an ideal role for you that you would like to, to pursue? I just want a mentor, just a mentorship, and just to have a door open anytime that they want to talk about anything, whether it's on or off the court. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is part of you sort of in all that you're in position when you got your own statue this year, you also had street name after you when you got your own town. What is it like just to, are you still in awe of the fact that you have these moments? I look at it like I'm getting the respect that, that I earned, basically. Like I went out there, I know how much work I put in. I know what I accomplished out there in the basketball court. I know what type of player I was and what I gave to this franchise um, night in and night out. And um, just for it to be appreciated is just a beautiful thing. Like, um, it's the way it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, why, why wouldn't it be any other way? You know what I mean? And I, I just think, you know, for this organization to treat me like they've been treating me, I just think is a, a beautiful thing. But I, I think I put my I put my work into. You talked about playing every game like it's your last. Mm -hmm. when you play X amount of years. It's easy to take a night off, right? It's easy. Not Where for not for a game. Well, not for not well not for a game. I'm talking about meaning. You know, you see people like, okay, I'm a good being. Cruise Teach his own. You don't have to say nobody's name. I know you're talking about. I know you're talking about. I know, you're talking about. I know the people, the, yeah. the plethora of people you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, but where did that come from? I don't know, because I you're mean, about from you. They, 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 they. I just, I, man, they, listen. Okay, let me tell you about practice. What I didn't, I don't like drills. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like, I like to go out there, get on the basketball court and just run up and down and, and play. And, you know, we had a coach, Coach Brown, would damn near stop every possession down the court. You know what I mean? We couldn't go two or three possessions down the court. But it's like, the game is just so fun, you know what I mean? Like, it's the same feeling like it was when I was a kid, you know what I mean? Just to, 
like you can't wait for game day. Like you, you wake up and wake up in the morning and I walk to the bathroom and my wife's saying, I know you're not playing today because I'm walking like San Fred Sanford. You know what I mean? That body just hurting. But then when you get in here, get in the arena and you see the fans and when, you know, we get in the parking lot and they're all up top and it's like, shit, I'm playing today. You know what I mean? Like, even if I'm, even if I don't feel good, the game is still the game. You know what I mean? And I always just love to just play. You know what I mean? Play in front of my crowd, play in front of um, the away crowd to shut them up. You know what I mean? Like just the competition part. I've just always been in competition. You know, whether I'm playing Spades or whether I'm playing Monopoly or I mean anything. You know what I mean? I just love winning. I just love being competitive. And I just could never like I, I get I used to get upset when dudes did low management because I wanted to see them play. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then when you think about it, it's a kid out there that might never see you play again, or an adult, or anybody. You know what I mean? Somebody might have gave them some tickets or something, and man, I get to go to the game. They probably can't afford those tickets to go to games to see you play, and then they get there, and then nowhere around. So, you know. But I understand it's, it's to each his own, though. Everybody don't feel like that. You know what I mean? And then you can't question when somebody don't feel good. Now, if they say, I just don't want to play tonight, that's totally different. But if somebody say they hurt, you, you don't question nobody's injury. That, yeah. mentorship, yeah. that mentorship that you're talking about, has there been an interaction with a player or just something that's been particularly meaningful with this current group? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just like a, I'm just like a, like I can, I can, I can slick talk and get my point across. You know what I mean? I don't have to have no sit down with you and we sit in there for hours. Like I can walk by you and say, man, stay aggressive. Keep being aggressive. You know what I mean? Don't be passive and keep on going. Okay, AI. You know what I mean? And that's that. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't have to give nobody no long sermon about what they supposed to do out there because they got, we have a great coach. So I'm sure he, you know what I mean? He tell them certain things, but when he tell me that he want Maxi to play a certain way, when I see Maxi, I'm going, I'm going to reiterate that to him. You know what I mean? Because I want him, I want him to know that it's that it's all right. You're not trying to do too much. You're doing what what Nick Nurse wants you to do. You know what I mean? So not just that's just a small example, but. Can we expect to see an Allen Robinson movie in the next? Uh, oh, it's coming, it's coming. I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm in talks with him right now, and I want mine. But I ain't talking about death again, deep, um, at all. But I want mine right now in, 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 the, in the present. We're ready. Thank y'all.